All right, in this series, we're going to be looking at tables and building HTML tables. Now, HTML tables used to be the de facto standard of how web designers used to lay out complex websites. Um, back in the late 90s and even the early 2000s, uh, web browsers really didn't have a standard way of rendering CSS and HTML as it should have done. And so designers relied on using tables to do these layouts for multi-columns and headers and footers and things like that for web layout and web design, which worked, but actually introduced a whole bunch of other problems along the way. So the, the web design community has definitely since moved past table design, and we design all of our elements using uh, proper HTML and CSS tags, and now the new HTML5 tags. But tables are still used in web design, but they are used for what they were initially intended for, and that's tabular data. And so I'm going to show you how to build a few simple tables and how to do a simple call span and row span um, to merge um, cells inside of a table. So let's go ahead and get started. There's quite a bit of code involved in tables, so we'll break this into several uh, video tutorials. Now the first tag to start a table is just table. So you open a table tag and you close a table tag. And the table tag has quite a few properties and values and lots are deprecated, meaning they're no longer used. Um, so you definitely have to look up in the official documentation resources, w3c.com to uh, or w3c.org to find out which attributes are allowed and which ones are not allowed and which versions of HTML because they've kind of gone back and forth on a few of these. Um, but one tag that's very important is the border tag. So we're going to say border equals one. So the border attribute we set to one, which basically means a one pixel border. Now it's actually not one pixel. It's more like one unit. But you can kind of think of it as one pixel because web browsers, you'll see in a second, render these borders a little bit differently according to their, according to the browser. So I'll say table border equals one and, uh, the table tag is made up of rows and columns. And so let's quickly look at a simple PowerPoint that will help us illustrate this. As you can see in this table, there are three rows. So we have row one, row two, and row three. And there's also three columns, one, two, and three, which makes for nine cells. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, tables, the topmost row is typically a TH tag, which stands for table header. And then this particular table has two rows. So the rows are just the horizontal rows in a table. And then rows are made up of TDs, which stands for table data cells. So each row has one, two, three table data cells. So these are the three main codes for marking up tables, TH, TR, and TD. There's no such thing as a TC for a table column. Rather, columns are made up from a row with multiple data cells. When you have multiple rows with multiple TDs, that naturally makes up columns. So this is how a typical table structure is laid out. And let's take a look at this back in code. We have our parent table tag in place. And as that previous example showed, the first tag is typically a TH tag, which again stands for table header. And then inside of either a header row or a table row, we have TD tags. So we have a table data cell tag. So I'm just going to put a number one right there. And I'll close the table data cell. And I'll do another one, table data cell two, close that one. And one more, three, and we'll close that one. And I'm actually going to put call one, call two, and call three. So what this table is now made up is it has one row, which happens to be a header row, which are like the, the column names or the column title, and with three cells inside of that row. So let's just do this much. Let's save and jump back to our web browser and refresh. So let's open up our index page, which is the page I'm working with here. And you can see here that I have call one, call two, and call three. Now there seems to be an error because you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit bigger here in the browser so you can see this. 
there's this little makeshift one here over on the left, which tells me that there's some error in my code. So let's go back and double check that. Make sure we've closed them all. And you can see the error is actually right here. You may have spotted that. But I opened a table data cell and I closed the table header. That's supposed to be a closing the table data cell. So open and close. So I mistyped that. So let's save and go back and refresh. And that still shows that error. Something else must be goofy. Let's check this out again. So we have an opening table, th, th, data cell, data cell, one, two, three. I don't initially see the error. It may just be cached. Let's close that down and relaunch that. Right, as you can see here in this slide, um, this is a typical HTML table. Now the top row is colored a little bit differently. It's darker to indicate that this is the table header. Um, this particular table is made up of three rows. So I have row one, row two, and row three, and then three columns, one, two, three, which brings us to have nine cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine cells in this table. Now tables, just like it is kind of like an Excel sheet. You can think of it maybe like that. And the first row or the topmost row of a table is typically the table header. And each of these cells are what we call th tags and they represent the header tags. And the next um, tag here are the actual rows. So this table happens to have three rows, a row being the entire horizontal space. There's one row, two rows, three rows. And then each row inside of a table is made up of TDs or THs if it's the first row. But typically every other row after the first row are made up of TD tags, which stands for table data cell tags. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six TD tags, three TR, TH tags, and then three separate table row tags in this particular table. So this is kind of how HTML tables are laid out. You'll notice that this table has TRs for table row that there's no such thing as TC for a column tag. Um, columns are just made up when you have a row with multiple table data cells. So multiple rows with multiple TDs make up naturally the columns. So at a later date, after we get through these uh, few basics of table rows and columns, we'll learn how we can merge two cells together, just like we can in Excel. So let's jump back to our table we've been working on and build a similar table to this with code. We're at this point to where we have our table tags in place and we need to build a table with the first row. So we'll do a table row and let's do a table data cell. We need to close that table row first. Forgot to do that. You want to get in that habit and then we'll do this table data cell and we'll close the table data cell and let's just put, uh, well, since this is the first row, this should be TH instead of TD because this is going to be the header row. So I'll say call one and I'm just going to take this code right here and paste it three times. Call this call two and call three. So right now I have a row, a table, um, which has one row with three table header cells. And let's save and refresh this and see what this looks like inside of our browser. So let's refresh our browser here and you can see that we have call one, call two, and call three. So I have the one row with this is the header row. So let's go ahead and add the two other rows of the actual data. So we'll need to do another TR tag because we're starting a new row. We'll close that table row off. We'll come up in here and we'll add three table data cell tags. And I'm just gonna call this one one. I'll close that TD. Let's call this one two. And we'll do one more and call this one three. And let's save and refresh. And sure enough, there's my second row with three cells. And I'm just going to copy and paste this entire thing and paste it right below here. And we'll call this four, five, and six. So again, we have now a table that has really nine cells. These three are header cells. And these six down here are content cells. So I have my header and then I have my content. Now, tables have two additional tags. Whenever you have a header row, um, a lot of times you'll encapsulate that in what's called T head. So there's this T head tag, 
And then when you have your contents, those are enclosed in what's called a T body tag. So I'll do T body and then the T body should be closed after all of the contents for the body. And then technically since table row is a child of table head, we should take all of this code and tab it one space over. And uh, on, in TextMate, if you hold down Command in the right bracket symbol, it'll tab over whatever code you have highlighted. So I'm gonna highlight all of this. In Dreamweaver, you can just highlight the code and press tab. Other text editors will probably have their own method of tabbing over a multi lines in one swoop there. So this is now correctly um, nested and all of our code is indented correctly. And we have a simple table with three rows and three columns. So in the next video, we're gonna look at several of the attributes of table tags.